You may have heard the term El Nino before. Well, it's back, and in a big way. Brewing in the Pacific and headed towards the US. What does this mean for you? This El Nino is going to be, and already is, a big one. Inside Science TV. Major snowfall, massive amounts of rain, flash floods and droughts. The U.S. could see a little bit of everything this winter. There does appear to be some chance that this event could in fact be the most intense El Nino event that we have previously observed. We've already seen tropical storm Patricia grow from this to this in less than 24 hours. Southern California has been hit with major downpours during the dry season. But what exactly is El Nino? We asked Earth system scientist Daniel Swain at Stanford to break it down for us. El Nino is this periodic warming of the equatorial eastern Pacific Ocean that occurs roughly every two to seven years. Warmer by just at least three degrees Celsius for this year's forecast, or an increase of nearly five degrees Fahrenheit. It may not sound like too much, but... But that is about as high as we've ever observed. The higher temps and a shift in the jet stream will affect winter weather patterns across the country. There probably is an increased likelihood of a wetter than average winter in California. This may bring some much needed relief to the area suffering from a four-year drought, but too much rain could potentially cause serious flooding. It's going to have some really major impacts, uh, not only in California, um, but around the world. In fact, some areas will actually get less rain and snow. The Pacific Northwest has a good chance at, at being drier than average this coming winter, which is not great news for that part of the world because uh, up there too, they are experiencing a drought. And in the Gulf Coast? In the southern tier of the country, um, tends to be wetter than average. States bordering Canada can expect warmer temps on average, but that doesn't mean less snow, as there are still cold days. You can certainly still get big snowstorms in an El Nino year, and um, in fact, it is, in, it is in fact the case that during some of the warmer years are actually when the bigger snowstorms have occurred. That means potentially good skiing conditions for the Southern Rockies. For the most part, we will start to feel El Nino effects starting in December, running through March 2016. So in much of the US, you're going to get a visit from El Nino. The only question, how much of an impact it will have. We're likely to be in for a pretty interesting winter to come. This is Inside Science TV. Inside Science TV. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on the web and social media. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.